Angel, what's going on? Lilo27 says, is it possible for a broken engagement to be restored? What are practical steps to heal from a broken engagement? Well, uh, the good thing is that your engagement with God, your engaging with God must not be broken. So when things break in your life, as long as you and God are intact, everything will be uh, all right, right? But let's get let's get more specific. Can God restore anything? God can restore anything. But the good thing is uh, uh, um, the will of God can be evident. The will of God is evident and the will of God can be known, right? And so what you first have to understand is that God is near the brokenhearted. And so you have to allow this time to heal because that means y'all had a period of time where y'all dated, courted, then got engaged, then the engagement broke, right? The first question I would ask yourself is why did it break? Why was the engagement broken? Those, that's where facts over feelings comes in. Write down the facts. Why did it break? If it broke because, hey, you guys uh, uh, are not healed, you guys just not ready to deal, all uh, right, or or whatever. What is it? What is the reason why the engagement broke? There, there will lie a lot of evidence on why this thing should not be restored or has the possibility of being restored. If it's a financial reason why it wasn't, why it broke, then that can be restored. But if there's like inf not infidelity, because I wasn't married, but if there was cheating going on, a lot of things going on, then you just gotta say, Hey man, uh, uh it, it, I'm just gonna put this in God's hands and we'll see what happens from there. But don't think about the restoration of the engagement. Think about the restoration of your soul. Think about that first. Don't worry about the possibilities of whether this will happen because then you'll be holding on to something that God may want you to let go. In the meantime, uh, allow God to hold you and make you whole from it. It's going to be difficult. Don't get me wrong. So here's some practical ways um, to heal uh, from a broken engagement. Number one, you have to first um, ask God for help. Ask God to help restore you. He's the only one that can help you, right? He's the only one that can restore you. He's the only one that can heal you. So what you do, practical ways to be healed is to be honest, honest with yourself. Where did I drop the ball? Where did I fall? Where did he drop the ball? Where did he fall or she, right? Be honest because honesty leads to proper help. So when you go to God to, for help and be honest with yourself, then you will get the proper help. Number two, you have to, um, um, how can I put this? After you heal, after you are honest, now you have to uh, engage with your purpose, man. Purpose for me helped me heal. Two or, two or three of my books hold some of my heaviest pains. I got to now start engaging in purpose. That's how you heal from anything. You be you heal with God. You let God hold you. You be honest with yourself. And then you start engaging with your purpose. Oftentimes people will say, um, God, help me out of this financially. Help me out of this emotionally. And then God will drop an idea. And you're like, no, God, I need you to help me. Sometimes God gives you practical things to distract you from the pain to take away the pain so that you can gain. Right. And number three, you just got to uh, uh, acknowledge uh, um, God going forward. Once you're honest with yourself, once you ask God for help, then you begin to gauge your purpose. Then you got to practice acknowledgement. Then you got to practice practice acknowledgement. What I mean by that saying, now I'm going to let you lead me this time, God. I'm going to let you guide me this time. I'm going to trust in you with all my heart. I'm going to lean not to my own status, but in all my ways, I'm going to acknowledge you, God. Because I know you'll direct my paths. Because the more you start acknowledging God in your life right now, the more you'll begin to walk in things that's for your life. And last but not least, in order for you to heal from a broken engagement, you got to let him go completely. You got to let them go completely. If you don't, you're going to have this mystery in the back of your mind. You're going to have this little uh, open door for demons to kind of put little seeds in your mind. And then he can always use that individual as leverage against you. So I just spelled the word heal. How to heal from a broken heart? You got to go to God for help and be honest with yourself so you can properly heal. Next, you got to engage in your purpose. You got to get in it, engage, because in that you'll begin to find confidence and in that you'll begin to find at least gaining from that pain. After that, now you got to start practicing, acknowledging God more so that you don't find yourself in broken pieces again. And last but not least, you got to let that person go for real. And if that person meets you at the altar down the road, so be it. But you can't think about it right now.
I hope that helps you heal. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to engage more content, make sure you check out the videos over here. If you want to learn more about the books that I've written or the cards that I've created or ways that you can support and engage with what I do online, make sure you check out the links in the description box below. And if you've been watching this far, you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe, hit that bell, and make sure you leave a comment. I would love to read it and would love to engage and be your coach online. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.